our goal here is really to try to get away from every patient with breast cancer needs these drugs and this amount of chemotherapy and this surgery and try to individualize based on how that patient responds to chemotherapy. And so that's one of the really nice things about giving chemotherapy up front is it can allow us to be less invasive with the surgical resection. I think that the take home point from the study is I think more and more institutions are looking at utilizing axial ultrasound post chemotherapy to give the clinicians an indication of the response to the disease, not only in the breast, but also in the lymph nodes. And then the surgeons can use that in their counseling with the patients to define what kind of surgical intervention to pursue in the axilla. Um, and I think where we were five to 10 years ago, when we introduced axillary ultrasound at the time of the initial diagnosis with breast cancer and uh, sent us slowly or actually relatively rapidly uh, took that on board, I think now we're beginning to see that wave with the post-chemotherapy imaging of the axilla with the use of ultrasound. Less women will suffer the side effects from an axillary dissection, being uh, pain and lymphedema. Um, and so overall, it should be a cost savings. Um, now obviously, axillary ultrasound is an additional imaging tool, but it's a reasonably cheap imaging tool. Um, most of these patients are having a breast ultrasound post-chemotherapy to evaluate the response in the breast. And so often it can be performed that the radiologist does the axillary ultrasound at the time of the breast ultrasound. So it doesn't need to be an additional visit or an additional inconvenience for the patient in terms of patient flow. So I think overall, ultimately, this will be a cost saving across society. Usually when a patient is diagnosed with breast cancer, we want to get a treatment plan together usually in the course of a few weeks. Um, and often with giving them chemotherapy first, it can in some institutions be quicker to get them to that first dose of chemotherapy than potentially to surgery, depending on the extent of surgery that that patient needs or elects to pursue. Um, so I think the important aspect with this form of treatment is for patients to understand that that chemotherapy is already the beginning of their treatment. They're treating their tumor, they're treating their head to toe system. Um, and so therapy starts at that point and we actually learn from the response to the chemotherapy to then guide the next steps that those patients need to undergo.